What's up YouTube, it's Oraka Boss and in this video I'm gonna bring you guys another battle replay where I command Tar Elves against my opponent's uh, Skaven So first thing, let's check my opponent's army So as you can see, he's got a quite complex army here So let's break it down A Storvern helps at the far back protecting the catapult, four plague monks paired with uh, Lord Scrook, and the uh, hell pit abomination in the center, and uh, clan rat spears with shield on each flank. One, two, three, four clan rats with shield at the front, and cannon folder. Skaven slaves in the far front, and uh, two Skaven slave stingers as well. So, a lot of mass, a lot of units, so many rats. Let's see, almost two thousand units. Shit, that's a, that's a lot. And let's check my army. I got a prince and the dragon and the star dragon, of course. Two um, dragon princes, four spearmen on the back, four lord and seagull with shields, two archer with armor in the front, a knight mage with uh, vast protection, and uh, the net. All right, let's see how he plays up. So the first thing I noticed that is he's got a catapult, so I'm just gonna quickly move, push forward. And catapult is already firing at my sea guards, and that was a very good hit, actually. Alright, he's counter moving the front lobe as well. And I'm gonna stop right about here and start firing at those skin, uh, Skaven Slave Stingers to take them out straight away. Steel. And in a bit, I'm gonna push Officer all my spears in to the into the folder block, which is here. And on the left side, I'm pushing with both my Dragon Princess and my Prince as well. So, as you can see here, I'm still just moving forward with my entire infantry line and uh, to deal with all the things here. And I'm charging my, my dragon princess out. And they're gonna charge straight into the flank of the block here, which is those Skaven slaves. I don't think they stand a chance. Alright, let's see the beautiful charge from Dragon Princess, shall we? Alright. Oh my, so many flying scalers. And there's another calf. And charge at the same unit, we don't do a lot of damage. Alright. So my plan here is obviously using my archers to fire into uh, whatever units they can pick while using my um, dragon princess to quickly just take care of everything to just counter cycle charge in and out and quickly just taking care of the front line here which are clan rats and here I actually land my dragon princess onto the catapult but uh, as you can see here, there's a help unit there and there's an abomination coming in as well. So my, I need to pull my prince out straight away. And I also casted the uh, plus 30 armor shield and, and the missile barrier as well. Right away. At once. And my opponent is pushing in to the flank with those uh, Skaven snakes, try to get into my archers. But the thing is, 
I have Northern Sea Guard here, which is quite decent in melee. I'm not too sure how they're gonna, how the Snape's gonna stack with Northern Sea Guards. Following FUR. And after a charge into the Play Monks, both my Dragon Prince is now gonna charge back into the main engagements. And at the back, I casted a net here to just slow down the play monks. And another dragon princess charge into this blob as well. And I quickly noticed those two units, so I turned my archers and just fire into them. And right now, those clan rats are. Routing. I'm charging back with my Dragon Princess. So basically, I'm just trying to ping pong my Dragon Princess in and out between between this blob and the main line. And drag and my Prince actually took a lot of damage from the ability from Lord Stroke. And I'm, I was trying to use my prince to land on him and do some damage, but it didn't really work out. Asurian guides us for Asurian. So those two units has been have been At taken once. care of. March. Uh, the main line soon gonna give up. Move for our ancestors. Quickly now. Dragon Prince is still I'm trying to squeeze through here and try to get into those catapults, which is happening right now. And this unit of Dragon Princess just charge back and pick up the slaves. And I use the brief and to the block here. While all this is happening, my archers are firing, are pouring arrows into those play guns. Actually, here um, there's a there's a bit problematic because this healthy Plague Monk unit about to make into my Northern Sea Guards. And I'm just moving away from the healthy abomination with my Dragon Princess, while this Dragon Princess just completely shattered the Pepinos. And I'm just cycle charge back in to do some hurt to those Plague Monks. And I'm gonna move away straight away. And those Dragon Princes after taking off the pet both charge back into this block here. But pay attention here, these are helps. So I don't want to um, use my Dragon Princes to stay into that fight. And he's right now, I'm using my Dragon, my Star Dragon, to charge into the Plague Monks to take care of them. And I'm about to use this Dragon Princess unit to charge into those clan rats to just hoping to rot them instantly. And my opponent is using the Abomination to zoom away my Dragon Princess, while two Plague Monks and Lord Stroke is taking care of my Spearsman unit here. To the fray. I just love to watch those Dragon Princess charge. And at the same time, I'm just pouring arrows into those plague monks. And there's another dragon princess charge. So at this point, my opponent actually has a strong block here, which is one plague monk and the helps, and a strong block here, which is his lord. Uh, abomination and two plague monks. That's pretty much all tired. he got left. Right away. And I have half health dragon prince, one third health dragon prince. Here. And at this moment, I just decided, okay, abomination is gonna do a lot of hurt to me, so okay, I just missed the brief. And so I just target the abomination with all my archers, try to take the abomination out straight away. So at this point, there's no choice. I have to, I have to land my dragon here to do some hurt to the abomination. And there's a 
There's a blast spell onto my Lone Seekers as well. And there's another ability. Okay, it's called the Liber Bubani Curse. Anyway, so it's a very good single target spell and ability actually. It's an ability and it's gonna do a lot of damage as you can see here. Proud to serve. So I think Lord Stroke actually cast it three times on my Asa, dragon this game. March. So right now, because Abomination is in, inside this block here, I just try to use both my uh, dragon princes, paired with my prince, to just take out Lord Stroke straight away. Right away. And I'm putting my prince out and hope for the cycle charge. So soon my prince is going to charge back in. And I have another net, just pin, pin the looks drop down and uh, for another charge. There you go, it's another charge. And I think soon he's gonna die. Yeah, he's done. So Abomination is here, try to kill my lord and just quickly I pulled my lord away. And right now, I think all he's got left is the abomination. So I'm just trying to use my um, what's remaining of my emulation to do some hurt to abomination before I'm gonna use my, all my melee stuff to kill him. But right now, this game is actually pretty close in the end. So abomination actually did a lot of hurt to me. So I charge in with my Dragon Princess, but there's a help there, so they can't really stay in that fight for long. And there's some routing troops coming back from our opponent as well. But I still got this unit here, and this unit here has some ammo. And I'm using my Dragon Princess to take out those Clan Rat Spears here. And I think this is where it all comes to. This is all it comes down to. So Dragon Princess can charge in against the Abomination. And my Lord is coming down to this one. And they got the Dragon Chasing my lord, and I actually put my lord back into the sky again. So I even charge my caster here in, into the abomination as well. I just try to take care of the abom abomination once and for all. And there's a fire. Yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. And it's a pure quickly. I think. I think my opponent actually did a very good job in terms of uh, picking the list and uh, micro in his list. Well, I mean, he's got 2,000 units to micro and he did a very good job. So I think that's pretty good actually. And for me, I think Dragon Princess are carrying the game. You can see <laughs> there are almost 400 kills on each of my Dragon Princess. So two Dragon Princes actually managed to take out almost half of the army, half of the army of the Skaven. That's pretty insane actually. So the calf charges are still very good in this game. Even calves sometimes just do stupid things because they're not really following your order. But if you pay close attention and babysit them more, they with a bit psycho charge, ping ponging in and out, they actually can do a lot of hurt. So OTO is a very great game between me and Petter. And uh, if you guys like my video, please consider subscribe. And if you really enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and leave your thoughts. And as always, uh, I will be happy to make more videos. 
and uh, for now, peace.